Hello, my name's Wayne Roberts. I'm our Flex Head of Roofing. Today I'm going to be giving you some helpful tips to maintain your roof, which I've picked up over the last 22 years of use. A common problem with roofs is a broken slate. As you can see, this slate here has got a broken corner, exposing the nail below, which is allowing water into the property. If you're lucky, the water will come in straight away and you'll know you've got a leak. If unlucky, or prolonged water ingress could cause the timbers to rot, causing more problems. When replacing your slates, try and always use the product you have on the roof. Don't try and repair a natural slate roof with a man-made slate roof. It will stand out a bit and obviously don't put tiles in there as opposed to slate. If you go into your local roofing supplier and tell them, show them, always idea to go in with a picture, take a picture and show them what you've got on the roof and they will give you the exact product that you need. This is actually a slate rip. You can hire these. Um, obviously we buy them because we use them a lot, but you can hire these from any um, tool hire shop. As you can see, these are nicely designed to hook the nails which hold this slate into place. We're also going to use a hammer to get the nails out and that will free up the slate to slide it out. Considerations for removing, replacing this slate are obviously health and safety. We're lucky today in the fact that we have a scaffold here and the slate is quite low down on the roof to reach. If for instance if you were tackling this yourself you'd have to think can you get ladders to the area and then also if this slate was higher up in the roof how would you get from the gutter level to there. If the slate was further up the roof, obviously what we'd say to you then is seek professional advice. Always keep yourself safe. Okay, what we're going to do is take the head of the slate ripper, we're going to place it underneath the broken slate and push it up. We're going to keep pushing it up until we know that we found the nail underneath. Once we know that's hooked onto the nail, which you can pull down, we now need to cut the nail to get the slate out. Now we're going to do the next nail. Again, these slates, because they're new, obviously have been nailed in very firmly by our roofers. That's why I'm struggling. <laughs> Eventually we're hooked on to the other nail. Now we need to release that one. As you can see, this is bringing the slate out at the same time. And there we have the slate out. I don't know if you noticed when that slate did come out, how it slid out. Obviously this is another reason why you should have someone always tying off your ladder, supporting your ladder at the base. I'm lucky in the fact that I've got a scaffold to stand on. If you weren't so lucky, you can imagine a slate slide and that could put you off balance, so something else to be wary of. Okay, now we're going to reinstate the slate. Firstly, what we need to do is install a strap. These are commonly called tingles. So basically placing the lead strap there over the joint of the two slates, we're then going to fix it with a copper nail through and into the bottom below. What we're going to do now is install the slate. This we want to push up between the two. We want to push it all the way up until it clicks onto the bottom, which is below this slate here. As long as this slate goes up underneath this slate, we know that we've got our water connection again. And then what we're going to do is fold the tingle up, which will hold the slate in place. You can always cut the strap down to match. So you only see a tiny little bit of the strap holding the slate in place, like so. Recommend that you check inspect your roof I and mean, like check over it for any broken slates at least once a year. Just keep an eye on it. Obviously, if you start seeing some damp patches on the inside of the property, then that usually will say, you know, especially on a pitched roof, if you've got broken slates or tiles, they would show up on the ceilings inside.